Hey, so today's video is, you know, I never really thought of a title. I never thought of a title. You know what? I'll figure that out later. So today's video is, um, well, I can't say what it's about, like, cause it, you know what? Let's start over. Hey, okay. So today's video, um, I learned while reading a, uh, part of the newspaper. Now, don't get too excited because it wasn't like the front page or, you know, the stocks and bonds or whatever or the opinions. It wasn't that. You want to know what my favorite part of the newspaper is? Take a guess. Absolutely right. It is the comic section. I love the comic section. Like, I will sit there and snicker to myself. Like, I love the comic section. Not to mention they have the puzzles in there so um i remember my dad my dad used to save the uh comic sections of the the um newspaper and i think that's where like my love for the comic section really came from because he would have like bags and bags of it because he loved to do the word search so um anyways love the comic section and i love sudokus um it's to the point that like people will save the comic section for me and they'll like go ahead and flip it to the sudoku section like i might be slightly addicted but i refuse to go to sudoku anonymous i will not go because i enjoy sudokus it's not you know it's it's a habit that i can you know fulfill so it's not harming anybody you know i'm not gonna go to sudoku's anonymous long story short but the comic section um one day in particular um, it kind of caught my eye, you know, above the, or right under the title of comic section or whatever, they have like that opinion, ask for help thing. And I rarely ever read that because like, I don't know you, I'm not going to ask you for help. You know what I'm saying? Like, I no, but sometimes I will read the questions because it's kind of like, it be stuff that people be asking that's like, why would you, why would you even ask that on, on a newspaper, in a newspaper? Like, why, why would you ask that? Or it'll be something that like offers more comedy for me. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes I'll read the questions because I'll be thinking in my head, like, why would you ask? Why would you? Anyways, so, um, one, uh, question kind of caught my attention and i really don't know what aspect of the question really caught my attention i think it was the anti-maskers part and i was like oh this should be interesting so i read it and basically the question was along the lines of like anti-maskers um basically this lady was ranting she was like um you know people who don't like to wear masks um they are endangering other people. They um, they should be denied health care and the health care should only go to people that wear a mask. So I was like, oh, you know, she a little feisty. You know what I'm saying? Like, she a little spicy. So the lady's name that answered it, it was like Carol or Carolyn or something like that. Something along those lines. So um, I kind of skimmed through her answer because it was like a long answer and the more I skimmed through it I was like okay yes you better get on that so her answer it kind of went off on a tangent but it was so profound to me like it was really profound so um to paraphrase this lady's answer um she was basically saying that it is wrong to deny people health care just because they don't share your same views and uh, one of the uh statements that she used she was basically saying like you are asking flawed humans to determine the value of another flawed human 
just because y'all don't share the same beliefs or practices or whatever. So I was like, okay, yes, I'm I'm feeling this answer. You know what I'm saying? And um, then she went off. This is like the tangent part. So she was saying, she said something along the lines of, um, it's the same in the in cases where um, people feel like darker skinned people or brown people um, deserve injustices just because of the color of their skin. So they feel a certain way or they believe a certain thing and now they are placing value on another human being's life even though we are all flawed we all have our flaws but by placing value on another human's life you're exalting yourself to be able to look down on this other person or group of people just because they don't share the same viewpoints as you and I was like, when she mentioned brown people, I was like, yes, my sister, yes, Wakanda for life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, she, you know, caught my attention. So, you know, I'm reading it and I'm reading it. And I got like so excited that I was like showing other people. I was like, y'all, this is like actually a good uh, read. Like, y'all should read this. So everybody, you know, had their opinions or whatever. I told them what the, the little rant slash question was. And everybody started shooting off their opinions. I was like, dog, y'all ain't even read the uh the thing, you know, the the answer. So needless to say, they never read it. Um, but uh it was to the point that like I sh I feel like I should have like cut out that part and saved it because it was so profound to me. So um I know that at some points in my life, I've I've heard um, statements like, well, if this group of people, you know, never existed or, you know, if, if we like uh, locked up this group of people, the world would be a better place. And my first thought is like, not necessarily like just because you um, just because you push one problem off to the side doesn't necessarily mean that more problems are not going to arise first of all and second of all who are you to say that you know what i'm saying you are flawed you are flawed and you're placing value on another flawed human being period so by doing that and by saying stuff like that people are stepping into the role of the creator of the universe you didn't create nobody you you didn't give life so you I don't feel like it's necessary for you to, you know, say that you could take like life away or for you to feel like you should take life away because you didn't create life. You didn't give life. And I just, when I read that, I was like, that is a good way to look at everything. Like a lot of us pass judgment because people don't share our same beliefs, views, opinions, uh, religion, whatever. Um, and if you look at it in that sense, that's where love comes in. You are basically forced to love at that point, because if you take out your emotions, if you take out your feelings, if you take out your beliefs or whatever, from the judgment of this person, all you're left with is love. That's all you're left with. If assuming that you have it, you know what I'm saying? That's all that you're left with. So it's going to force you to love a group of people that feels differently than you, that thinks differently than you, that acts differently than you. And I feel like then the world might be a better place. Once you take out all that, you know, hatred because of different viewpoints and different feelings and different beliefs. And I felt like that was just a good way to look at everything. Like getting angry or upset at people or um wishing that people were were wiped off the face of the earth because of how they view life it's not right you're stepping into the shoes of of the the being that created the universe and do you know how big those shoes are to feel there there's something that you're not able to do as a flawed human being passing value and judgment on another flawed human being 
Because it's simple. It's easy to do that when you put emotions in there. It's easy to judge when you put your emotions in there. Because you you thinking in your head, oh, I feel this way at this point in time in my life and this should happen to this group of people. Not realizing that emotions are fickle. Human emotions are so fickle. That's why it's not a good idea to place so much on them. You know what I'm saying? It's not a good idea to make so many decisions solely based off your emotions because then you're gonna end up with miss so-and-so who wrote in talking about basically killing people because they don't they don't want to wear this mask that they weren't born with may i add by the way but you know like denying health care to these people because of what they believe and to me that was no different than denying health care to somebody because um they not pentecost or they not baptist or they not um church of god in christ or whatever denying health care to somebody because you know uh they don't believe the sky is blue they don't you know feel like um i don't know you know anything just because people have different views you are playing the creator so that that was my lesson you know i took a look at my life and I don't think, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think I've ever went to the extreme like I wish these people were wiped off the place, the face of the planet. Um, but I have passed my judgment on people because of how they view things or how they believe or whatever. Uh, my own silent judgment, you know. And that helped me, you know, take a step back and look at my life like, who are you to judge somebody? Matter of fact, it's a scripture um, that says something along the lines of taking the log out of your eye before you, before you um, point at your neighbor's eye or something like that. Something along those lines about passing judgment. People are so quick to point the finger and say, well, they don't believe this. They don't feel like this. They don't do this. You're not doing your job by doing this or whatever, but not recognizing the flaws that we ourselves have in before we even pass that judgment. Recognizing the flaws that are within us. It's easy to point out other people's flaws. But when the tables are turned, you look in the mirror, pointing out your own flaws is, is an issue for most people. And I, I don't know. I just feel like if we all, you know, kind of thought like Carolyn, Carol, whatever her name was, you know, even just reading that. And I don't even I, I don't even know what day, you know, the newspaper was printed on. I probably should have got that. But yeah, it was just so profound. It made me look at my own life. So that's all I got for y'all today. Um, yeah, that's all I got. So that was my lesson uh, this past week. And I hope that that's something that y'all can glean from and take from and uh, adjust your life around. Don't try to judge people just because they don't feel the same way you feel or believe what you believe. They are still a human being and you are still a human being and all of us are flawed, period. All right, y'all have a good day, and I'll holla at y'all in the next video. Peace. Okay, wait. Did it stop? No. It is. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get this together. I'm going to get this together. I know it's, it's difficult. It's difficult to stop the video and be looking at y'all and not looking at me and looking at everybody else. And it's. I got this, though. I got this. All right. Now, really. Have a good day. Peace.